five. So now that you kind of get the lay of the land here when it comes to reconciliation, I want to bring in uh, CNN political editor Mark Preston, who's really been following these, the summer saying, Mark, closed door maneuvering, and also a little bit of PR buzz going on here. And, and if you will, first begin with this new ad, which we haven't, we're the first to air it here right now on CNN, that's targeting a very specific population. Tell me who they're targeting and who's paying for it. Sure, Brooke. Uh, no question. We, it seems that we are in the final home stretch. Of course, we've, it seems we've been in the final home stretch now for over a year. This was supposed to be done in August. It was supposed to be done by Thanksgiving, Christmas. Here we are in March. But it does appear that it is coming to a crescendo. We see a new television ad that will start appearing tomorrow on black entertainment television. Americans United for Change is running this 30-second spot. And Max, let's take a quick look at it. Brooke, this 30-second spot that is targeted at African Americans to try to put pressure on uh, Congress to pass health care reform. Let's take a look. The special interests are marshalling their forces for one last fight to save the status quo. And we can't let that happen. That's why I'm asking you to summon the energy, the commitment, and the drive that has fueled this movement since day one. Call Congress to make your voice heard now. And there you are, Brooke. You see President Obama appear in that Americans United for Change ad. The organization, a liberal advocacy organization, did not ask for his permission. They did it under legal guidelines. They inserted him in the ad. It looks like he is actually pushing uh, uh, at least part of the ad. And, of course, I'm sure the White House mm -hmm. is not very upset about it because they are pushing through, of course, on health care reform. Right. So as we hear first from this ad, these pro-reformists trying to push this thing through. Uh, another issue, you know, when we talk about essentially, Mark, the PR front, you have this 11-year-old kid and correct me if I'm wrong I think it was actually his 11th birthday when we saw him a couple days ago in DC activist uh, his mother passed from a lung condition uh, she could have survived it was preventable and now sort of the, the torch if you will of activism is now passed on to this 11 year old let me get you to comment on this first let's roll the videotape I'm here because my mom my mom was a healthcare activist just like I am today and she was testified in rallies about everybody having health care. My mom, my mom was diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension in 2006. She missed so much work that she lost her job. And along with her job, she lost her health care. And losing her health care ended up um, causing her her life. I don't want any other kid to go through the pain that our family has gone through. I want Barack Obama and Congress and everybody to come together and help the health care um, bill pass. Again, that is 11-year-old Marcellus Owens. Mark Preston, that's compelling stuff. Uh, you know, I don't even know what to say, Brooke, to yeah. be honest with you. I mean, that, that, that's one of those things where where, uh, of course, Democrats are, are trying to use this, uh, this young boy to really tug at the heartstrings of Americans and really try to put pressure on Congress to get health care reform passed through. So we're going to see more and more of that over the next week. You know, Brooke, you know, just in the next week alone, we're expected to see $600,000 worth of t television advertising running every day trying to push through health care reform. That number could increase as we get closer to the day. In addition to that, Brooke, Republicans are pushing back. Tomorrow, we're going to hear from Scott Brown, the Massachusetts Republican right. who won Ted Kennedy's seat. He'll deliver the Republican address tomorrow. Of course, he ran on the idea that he didn't agree with Democrats' uh, push for health care reform. He'll deliver the response tomorrow. What do you think? Last question real quick, Mark, this big PR blitz. Will it work for the Dems? Um, look, I think that the Democrats are pulling out all why we're seeing uh, you know that young man there talk about his mom who passed yeah. away that's why we're seeing liberal groups try to pour as much money in as possible mark preston for us from uh, washington mark thank you